All right, so in this problem, we want to solve for the proportion, and that means solving for k. Now, when we have two fractions that are uh, equal to one another, we can cross multiply. That means we can multiply the 12 to this um, to these terms and the 6 to these terms. So it's going to look like this. We're going to have 12 times k plus 3 equals 6 times 14 minus k. Now we can distribute this value into our parentheses, and same for the 6, we will distribute it into our parentheses. Alright, so now when we distribute, we have 12 times k, which will give us 12k, and 12 times 3, which will give us 36, equals 6 times 14, which will give us 84, and 6 times negative k, which will give us negative 6k. All right, so now let's move all of our k's to the left-hand side and all of our numbers to the right-hand side. All right, so now if we do so, we have, we're have we going to add 6k to both sides. And we are going to subtract 36 on both sides. So now if we do so, 12k plus 6k gives us 18k. And 84 minus 36 will give us 48. All right, so now in order to find the value of k, we are going to isolate it by dividing 18 on both sides. All right, so now we have k equals 48 divided by 18. Now we can simplify this fraction by dividing by 2, the top and bottom. So now we have k equals 24 divided by 9. Now our answer is written in a mixed number form. So let's turn this fraction, this improper fraction, into a mixed number. Now we're going to ask ourselves, how many times does 9 go into 24? And that is 2 times. And how many do we have left over? If 9 goes into 24 2 times, we have 18. And the difference between 24 and 18 will give us 6. And we will keep our denominator of 9. So now let's simplify the 6 over 9. We can divide the 6 over 9 by 3, the top and bottom. So now we have 2 and our... Um, our remainder of our fraction will be two-thirds. And so two and two-thirds will be our final answer, and that is answer D.